how to study for CDS examination. First thing, uh, prior to your preparation towards this CDS examination, first approach your family doctor, family physician and carry out medical examination from reputed doctor. The thing is that uh, many things we are not aware about our body only. So you can ask that doctor that uh, check out for uh, defense services ability. So certain tests are there, vision, color blindness and all that, uh, flat foot, knee joint. So like that, whatever your doctor can perform within his premises, uh, that test you can perform. Then if that doctor says yes, uh, physically you are eligible, then only start preparation. The thing is that uh, if you are getting rank 1, but you are disqualified in medical examination, then they are not considering you. And therefore, before preparing, first appear for this medical test that uh, you can carry out at your uh, family doctor, family physician and then start your preparation. Now about preparation, first paper that is general studies. Total 10 subjects we have to study over there. There are physics, chemistry, biology, environmental science, history, national freedom struggle. Here they are separating out history and national freedom struggle. That means history till 1857 and after 1857. Two papers are separate. Then uh, Indian polity, then economics, geography and lastly current affairs. But all questions are of multiple choice questions. So this is something about uh, CDS first paper. Second paper that is English. In case of that, they are testing your knowledge about English proficiency, that is language proficiency, uh, grammar, then your vocabulary and grasping in that particular thing. So questions are there, only multiple choice questions are there. As MCQ questions are there, uh, they are having a format. Say for example, uh, some underlying part is there. And we have to find out which statement is right or which statement is wrong. Like that, uh, subject verb agreement and uh, all that they are there. Then vocabulary synonyms etc they are testing out that also and then uh, passages that means comprehension skill so short passages and long passages so like that things they are testing out your that is also for 100 marks now if you are preparing or uh, rather than that till 10th standard if you are studying out in english medium then this english proficiency is not that difficult but if you are learning out in vernacular medium, that means other than English medium uh, till 10th standard, then may be possible you have to uh, get some more efforts in this English part. The third paper that is of mathematics. In case of that, uh, obviously whatever you have studied out till 12th standard level plus some parts of simple arithmetics, they are also added so that everything is there that is for 100 marks but if you are preparing for officers training academy that is OTA examination then mathematics is not there. so total 300 marks papers are there at a time can you appear for both the papers answer is yes so you can click out say I want to appear for IMA and OTA so wherever your score is eligible you can consider over there also so like that things are there so this is about written examination those who are qualified in written examination, then they are all for SSB interview, which is actually uh, we have to stay over that uh, center for four to five days, for some people one day only, because uh, on first day may be possible they can disqualify you. If you are able to cross out first day, then you have to stay there for five days, where they are testing you differently your mental strength your physical abilities uh, 
what is the commitment and all that that they are going to test and finally after ssb say there is no strict rule about the selection say for example uh, in case of upsc there is requirement that is 1 is to 3 ratio so after first two test that means prelim and mains they are selecting candidate in such a way that uh, if 1000 is the vacancy they will call 3000 student for interview so we are calling this as 1 is to 3 ratio that is there in upsc civil services examinations but in case of cds examination they don't have such obligations that out of three you have to select any one candidate so no such things are there their duty is to select the most eligible candidate like that we are uh, facing this cds that is ssb interview the third stage that is medical examination now as i have discussed that uh, prior to your preparation you have already undergoing this type of test so chances are more why i am saying chances are more because uh, i am not recommend you to carry out your mri and all that if uh, you are performing that all before preparation then it is bit costly so i have not recommended you to do that but uh, all these tests a basic test it should not happen that you are qualifying for mains or sorry you are qualifying after ssb interview and uh, they will detect out color blindness or uh, your vision is not there in their limit etc so this should not happen and for that purpose it is recommended that first carry out medical test at your doctor center and then now this is if you are able to qualify after ssb interview then you are appearing for this medical and then you can get selected if you are qualifying in medical examination so this is the total process for CDS examinations that is combined defense services examination.